For these five entrepreneur teams, it started with a dream to launch a business. After a year of research, presentation, development, and mentorship, their dream may become a reality. Today, they'll have five minutes to pitch their business plan to a panel of experts ready to invest in their futures. From the Fairfield University Charles F. Dolan School of Business, this is Fairfield Startup. Hi, I'm Christian and I represent the Priority Route team. We focus on route prioritization software for any business with a large fleet of vehicles. We started off as a class project and within a couple months it was getting a little bit more serious and now we're here. As a Fairfield computer science student, there's a large emphasis on being able to go into the business field and be successful, even though we're engineers. We're taking a class called Software Design Methods. The lab is focusing on entrepreneurship. And we have five engineers who are working on different aspects of the application. So I, for one, am doing the database. I have two people working on the algorithm, and then there are two more people working on the application and any user interface. We have two business majors who focus on our marketing and our finances. And what they brought to the team was their faith in us, which made us want to work even harder on the product. As an engineering team, we don't know the best way forward. And so having the mentors as part of the startup competition is invaluable. They have been helping us all along. So what I want people to know is that anybody can take part in this experience. Doesn't matter if you're in the business school, if you're in the arts and sciences, or if you're in the engineering school, anybody with a good idea can come here and learn how to create a business from scratch. Christian Akeem and his team have taken priority route from class project to startup showcase. Today, he will represent the group and pitch to the startup investor panel. Hi, my name is Christian and I represent the priority route team. Today, waste management companies are facing a problem. They waste time, money, and risk low customer satisfaction because they are not able to see if a dumpster is full without going to the physical location. A driver can travel miles across town only to be met with an empty dumpster, in the process wasting fuel and man hours. This is especially bad for small to medium sized businesses that rely on good customer relationships and have limited resources. Priority Route is a two part solution that enables these businesses to take their services to the next level. We provide route optimization and organization for companies to use data and allocate resources more efficiently. In the process, Priority Route can help businesses reduce waste, reduce stress, and increase customer satisfaction, enabling them to save money, increase profits, and become more sustainable. The software that Priority Route provides allows administrators to allocate pickup locations to each member of their team, while every individual member has access to a mobile application with dynamic routing solutions. All of this, paired with a colorful and friendly user interface, saves the driver's time and the company's resources. Meanwhile, the hardware is installed in each receptacle, periodically relaying the fill level back to the central computer. Our hardware is inexpensive to create and maintain, easy to install, and durable. At Priority Route, our main goal is to provide efficiency and simplicity, and the implementation reflects this. To enable Priority Route, businesses need a one-time hardware installation and software setup. After that, the software will begin producing optimized routes for all users within the system. Initial installation will cost $5,000 and around $55 per sensor. Additionally, there will be a monthly subscription fee pending the number of vehicles in a fleet. In the United States, there are over 12,000 waste management companies. Of those, roughly 25% are interested in adapting to newer technology. Priority Route is interested in those small to medium sized enterprises with one to 20 vehicles. These businesses are oftentimes cash strapped and unable to spend resources on other routing solutions. The ideal customer is a small waste management company in the New England area with the goal of branching out into the greater Northeast regional area. While Priority Route is optimized for waste management, the applications are limitless, especially in areas such as dry cleaning, package delivery, and medical waste, where there are similar routing issues to the waste management industry. Priority Route provides software as a service, plus the added installation charges for the hardware and training for the software. After the initial investment, customers will be charged a monthly subscription fee so they can continue research and development as well as maintaining the service. 
In the coming years, we plan on expanding our network to more users every year. And because of the low maintenance costs, Priority Route will be able to allocate income towards researching better solutions for our customers. As the world continues to grow and develop, waste management companies will grow too, and so will their problems. Smaller businesses will struggle to remain efficient with growing demand, and while there are other route optimization solutions on the market, they do not provide the same benefits as Priority Route and are not tailored specifically to their needs. Our team consists of a talented group of engineers partnered with experienced business students. Together, the Priority Route team is working towards making this software a reality so that companies can begin to benefit. And in the next few months, we are aiming to establish additional customer relationships for the software launch. With the initial demonstration of our software in the coming weeks, Priority Route looks to have a fully developed app ready for deployment by the end of the year. The Priority Route team has established relationships with companies such as Robert Wright Disposal and Advantage Disposal, but we are still in need of potential customers demonstrating interest to make this software a reality. Priority Route is working towards creating waste management solutions for underserved businesses, and together, we can provide efficiency, sustainability, and peace of mind for all of our customers. Thank you. With the presentation complete, it's time for the Startup Investor Panel Discussion. Christian must impress the panelists to take Priority Route to the next level. Thank you very much for being here this morning. My name is Michael. This is Joe and Marianne. We've uh, reviewed your video multiple times now. We just saw your presentation again, Thank you, uh, by the way. Um, Thank you very much. We all have uh, uh, quite a few questions. We don't have as much time as we would like to answer all the questions we have. We have some broad strokes overview and then uh, maybe invite the conversation after the, uh, after the entire presentation. So um, if it's all right with you, Mary and Joe, I'll kick off with just a couple of questions and we'll feed you in. Very good. Let me just start my uh, timer here. So Christian, I, I reviewed the, I, I do not have a lot of knowledge in the industry. I, I have some fleet and, and logistics knowledge. Um, but my question for you was, two things jumped out at me was, there, there seemed to be some pretty significant upfront cost. There was a $5,000 setup fee. And I don't know if that's a one time for a business or each dumpster. Then there was a $13,000 uh, something fee. And then there was a, a $1,200 fee. Is that per dumpster? I need to understand that a little bit. And, and, and understand those costs kind of being upfront because they appear to be significant numbers for uh, a smaller targeted medium sized company that you're targeting. Do you understand my question? Yes, I do. Huh. And so the, the $5,000 number that we put, that is based on how much it would take for one of our technicians to go and set up each of the hardware devices around the network and to do the training. So we, we estimated an hourly cost of about 60 to $90 per hour for the technician and how long it would take to go to each location and do the initial setup. Meanwhile, the hardware cost is based off of our approximate 55 to $60 per sensor and uh, our normal customer having about 250 dumpsters, we estimate. So that's where we got the numbers for those initial upfront costs. So that 5,000 was 200 dumpsters for the 60 to $90 in our technician. And the 13,000 was 200 dumpsters to have the hardware installed at $60 a pop. Yes. So once those are installed, it's all done. And the maintenance of those pieces of computers or chips or internet of type things inside the dumpster falls on the company in the 12, in the, in the monthly fee. Uh, yes, that would be included in the monthly subscription fee. At least that is our goal to provide maintenance as part of the subscription. Um, that can, of okay. course, eventually change. Have you done any research to find out whether or not these manufacturers of dumpsters are installing, you know, um, in the compactors, maybe a, a digital scale in it so it knows or, or Internet of Things type cameras embedded in the sides of the actual dumpsters? Because... Any type of technology you install in a dumpster, I, I'm sure you've worked with dumpsters and seen stuff gets broken just by throwing stuff in. So I want to know if that's something that's, if you've identified a gap, which is great, or, or if you haven't done that research yet. Well, what we found was that a lot of these companies that offer the dynamic routing and the, and the level management, a lot of the times you have to buy a completely new dumpster. And we've seen that those dumpsters can cost up to five or six hundred dollars each to completely replace the entire network. So what we identified as the niche is that we can 
just put a sensor in there, a very discreet small sensor that will allow us to get the reading without having to replace the entire dumpster and just add on to it. Interesting. All right, thank you. Joe, Marianne, you have any questions? Or? Yeah, Christian, I, uh, I don't know anything about this business, but I focused on your uh, financial model. So I have a couple of questions regarding that model, at least uh, from a guidance standpoint. You know, um, it seems like from the, that the cost to the customer uh, is about $30,000 a year. So it would be good if you quantified the amount of savings that a uh, medium-sized company would get and to be able to show, um, you know, value that makes this $30,000, uh, you know, a, a viable alternative, uh, you know, to the things they're doing. Uh, the other, the other thing I would mention is more guidance than 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 anything else. Uh, your financial statements would be, uh, we have to take you IPO next week. Uh, they are, you know, outrageously wonderful. Um, so it seems to me that you don't have all the costs embedded, you know, in that financial model, um, such as you, you're not going to be able to get a hundred. 25 sales without any marketing salespeople. Um, so anyway, those are just some, you know, general guides. Uh, if, if the quantification works, then this is really a great uh, concept and a great idea. So thanks. Thank you. So Christian, <clears throat> Christian, I'm wondering if you could uh, share a little bit about the competitive analysis that you might have done. Just looking out there, you know, the waste management industry has gone through and continues to go through lots of consolidation. You know, the big guys uh, 20 years ago with waste management, BFI and, and Allied Waste, all of these, you know, major consolidation, buying up all the small uh, mom and pop haulers. So, um, it seems to me that you know, from a competitive analysis standpoint, these small uh, haulers um, they can't afford a lot. And you know, to follow on, along what Joe just said, uh, have you done some understanding, um, competitive analysis of what's out there, who's offering what, how you would compare to that, and then again, your value proposition to the small haulers? So I'd like to begin by saying that. The, the monthly subscription cost is actually based on the number of trucks that a company has. So it, it doesn't always need to be up to $1,200 per month, which would make it more accommodating to a business that does not necessarily have such a large fleet. And in terms of how much they will save, we've done, we've looked into mostly fuel economics and maintenance. And for a given truck that take, gets about three miles per gallon, the cost could be very significant if they don't have to waste time going to unfilled dumpsters. So uh, the companies are, if they're gonna only be picking up lesser number of times, the haulers are going to be certainly saving monies, but if some of their pricing is based on their pickups, um, how does it really balance out? I mean, what's the value? I, I really think you need to look at the value proposition, not only from, the hauler standpoint, but from the company standpoint as well, the company um, that's uh, having pickups done. So just some advice there. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you, Justin, we're intrigued. I think there's some issues with the industry that we want to get to know better and understand better. Um, I mean, I happen to know trash haulers have, uh, the ones that I've dealt with have like a pickup fee, whether my dumpster's empty or not. And I would venture to guess that they're thrilled to come by and find out that dumpster's, you know, light or empty and then charge me my $400 pickup fee. So we just want to know more. I, I want to thank you for, for this. You're, uh, you did a good job in the presentation. You did a good job right now. And we look forward to seeing you in the award round. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Fairfield Startup would like to thank our sponsors for continuing to make the annual Startup Showcase possible. Thank you. Priority Round has presented and it's on to the final round. Visit fairfield.edu startup to watch all of the 2020 Fairfield Startup Team episodes.
Vote for your favorite and tune in next week to see the winner of the CT Next Connecticut Innovations Audience Favorite Award. Thanks for watching Fairfield Startup. This has been a presentation of Fairfield University and the Dolan School of Business.